Hey guys, and how's it going? So in this video, we will talk about the new balance and list regarding old robots and weapons that Pixonic decided to do in the second test server session. In the last second, in the last episode, we did side by side comparison, but this time, sadly, we didn't have the time to do that. So we just going to talk about it briefly. But first, let me talk about the new special edition Ox Minus. Me and a lot of people thought the first special edition Titan going to be a golden Newton, but turns out it is minus all along. It does look cool, it does look awesome, but I do not fully understand the idea behind this theme. Maybe it's the, uh, the Chinese New Year? I'm not really sure, but if you do, please let me know down in the comment. And now let's get into the balancing list. These changes comes as an addition to the last changes that I have talked about in the last video and I made side by side comparison. So if you didn't watch it, please do watch it. The first affected is the Invader, Nemesis, Mender, Cerberus, Jaeger, Raker, Inquisitor, Rhino, Hichi. The only new robot in this list is Jaeger. We all know that these robots does need this buff, but the real question here, will they be a better option for us to use them instead of the new robots? No, they will always be a second option for us. So I do believe that these robot, these changes will only impact the low league, such as the gold, diamond, and expert league. But as for master and champion league, no, they won't because these ro robots considered to be absolute. Now let's talk about the balancing list for weapons. And I have so many notes here. Pixonic dropped the ball so many times with this list. The first set of weapons getting a buff is Corona Glory Halo. They are getting effect accumulation buff. This set of weapons do not need effect accumulation buff. What they need is damage. Second is Redeemer getting a damage buff. Redeem, I believe that Redeemers are okay the way they are now. So they do not need this buff. And Blaze and Ember getting a damage buff. What they really lack is the, the accuracy, not the damage guys. So instead of increasing the damage, try to improve the accuracy. Marquez and Hozars getting a damage buff. And I do believe that Pixonic buff the weapons based on how many times we use them. Not a lot of people are using Marquez and Hosa, so they are giving him a buff. And that's just wrong. Why would you use Marquez and Hosars instead of Schroeder and Posars? That's what the reason not a lot of people using these weapons, because simply we have a better option. They are good as an, a second option. They are doing well with the damage, the damage they have now. So increasing the damage, you kind of throw things out of balance here. And the shock train is getting a damage 10 percent damage increase as well i'm not i'm not really a big fan of this weapon I actually hate it but if you're do like this weapon then there we go the zeus and exodus are getting a buff and i actually like it i am a big fan of zeus and exodus and i wish to see them more on the battlefield now the most interesting thing about this list is the weapon and the arbalist both are getting 20 percent damage increase and I'm actually worried guys, the Whipper, I'm using a Whipper on my Raven and it's dealing a lot of damage, you know. So I'm kind of worried about this incre damage increase. I'm worried that it's going to be highly overpowered. And as for the Arbalest, I even forgot there is an, a weapon called, called Arbalest on the game. I have four of them. I never in my entire time playing this game used Arbalest. Will this buff make me use it more? Uh, probably not, but we will see in the future. Now the second part of this video guys is basically me trying my luck on the event chest. I had over 800 coins and I used them all on the 200 chest. Was I lucky to get a shell? You will see. Hope you enjoyed guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.